Hello and welcome to another edition of Eat the Week. I'm your host, Harry Foodie Guy, and I'm hungry. So the previous video was um, me doing some home cooking. I did a pan Asian omelette, but right now I'm just simply going to do a food review. So I'm about uh, budget shopping and helping you guys make uh, decisions like uh, with with food that I find that I, I pick up and think, oh, that's affordable. Let's let's try that. So um, me and Harry Foodie Girl are both pescatarians. We love our seafood. So this is something she can get involved with. And it's a Young's Admiral Pie, which means a fish pie. So da -da -da, fish fillet pieces in a creamy butter sauce topped with mash and cheddar teas. What's not to like, especially at the price, £1.59. So I'll bring it over so you can see the nutritional details. I can't be bothered to read it because I never eat my BMR, particularly unless I'm doing a food challenge. So let's have a look. There's just looking at the front. There's no red, so there's no extra this and extra that. Let's, let's get my pink reading glasses on. So, ba ba ba. Um, fat 10.4, this is for the whole pie. Uh, saturated fat 4.9, sugars 5.4, salt 1.6. That's the only thing that would concern me. Everything uh, processed just has way too much salt, man. So it says, whoops, I'm dropping bits out of it already. It says, Oven cook, 200 or 190, blah, 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 35 minutes. So I'm going to see if I can fit this in the air fryer. Let's have a look at it right now. And if I can't fit it in the air fryer, it'll have to go in the oven. So it is what it is. All right, let's have a look. I reckon that'll fit in the air fryer easy. And you could probably pop that out and straight into a tray though, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I could actually take that out because it's frozen and put it straight in the tray. Cheese is weird. Looks like, um, what do you call that cheese? It's not grated, is it? It's like, it's like powdered cheese. Yeah. But yeah, so this is, this is what you get from processed uh, fish pies these days. Uh, that's it <laughs> so right now it doesn't look too appetizing does it let's face it but it was one pound 59 so let's see let's not judge a book by its cover so let's uh get it in there and see what it does so this is the first time i'm going to be putting this kind of um container in an air fryer so i'll see what it does i'll, I'll we'll keep checking it so i'm going to get this uh cooking and uh, we'll do a taste test and review as soon as we can, because we're hungry. Alrighty then. So I took it out of the uh, original packaging and put it in a pan. And whacked it in the air fryer and it took 20 minutes. That actually looks quite appetizing compared to the cr frozen version of it. It's like it didn't look very good at all. So this was one pound fifty nine. So let's judge it on its on its cost as well as its taste. The only um, bits that I've got to go with it is is black pepper because it's already salty enough, and we've got some horseradish and tartar which we'll mix together, and uh, that'll be it. So the rest of it is going to be uh, taste tested as it stands. So let's uh, get this in our faces. Yum. Welcome back, everyone. Not that you missed me, because I was gone for milliseconds. So uh, this doesn't look too bad for pound fifty I'm suitably impressed. It, it's got a, a nice crunchy top. And uh, part of me, because of that, I want to put salt on it. But there's already enough salt in there. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to portion it up. 
and we're going to put a bit of black pepper on as, as seasoning but i will taste it before we put anything on it and then we're going to do what is i don't know whether it's unique to us or or you guys have tried this before but we're going to um blend horseradish sauce with tartar because it gives the tartar sauce a nice little kick to it so um a foodie girl is going to do that you can do it now if you like in a, in a ramekin so while i portion this up i suppose so but, i mean it doesn't look too bad so let's see if it just tastes like fish flavored mashed potato is that hot enough to touch yes it is whether it actually tastes like admiral's pie I didn't oil the pan either, I just popped it in. Oh, that's perfectly cooked. I do like a bit of fish pie, but it's been a long time since I've had one. You get the big bit this time. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> just, that's just the way it worked. Oh, bit of fish there, can't miss that. There you go. Thank you. Alrighty, so, what make is this Young's? Young's Admiral Pie. I mean, Young's have been established for years. So it's doing fishy products. So let's see what the, the budget side of Young's tastes like. So first of all, we're going in with no seasoning. Smells nice. So it says white fish. That could be anything. Could be hake. I don't know. So, but it's not in inedible. Um, we like strong flavors. So it's not the strongest of flavors. Plain, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not actually that bad, is it? No, the, it's not bad. The mash is all right. Me, it's just very um plain. Mm. Maybe you're right because we're used to eating quite yeah. well seasoned foods. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's like um yeah, there's there's a it's not just um fish flavoured mashed potato. There's actually some nice pieces of fish in there. So I'm going to put just a bit of black pepper on. Because there's no rules to say that if you're eating quick processed foods that you shouldn't um, season it at the end of the day. Like it's like it's whatever you need to do to make your, you know, your cheap food taste good. And if it, if it just means a bit of horseradish, a bit of tartar, a bit of black pepper. So let's, let's, I'm going to try it with just the, just the back black pepper as a seasoning. Hmm. I mean, consistency wise, is the mash is a bit baby food, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit over mash. Um, but the flavour is nice. You know, there is a good crunch to it on the top, doing it in the air fryer. I mean, 20 minutes as opposed to 35 minutes in the oven. I'm just trying it now with the tartar sauce and the horseradish mix. Mm. It's not bad at all. Um, I'd call this more a snack than a meal. I don't know what you'd have to add to it for a meal. Probably some vegetables. Yeah, I'll, but chips or something. Yeah, but you've already got yeah, potatoes. Got potato it's like it's, it's yeah. a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not quite substantial enough for a meal. So it's like more more snacky for me. But for one pound fifty nine. No, it's not dreadful. We've no, a lot worse. Yeah, we have for a lot. You know, for pro, for a lot more money as well, actually. So. It's very plain. It's very simple. Um, it's what you expect for one pound fifty nine. 
you know? Definitely. Uh, you know, it's not, the, the thing is, when you compare it to some of the foods we've eaten this week, like I've had patties this week that were one pound each. What are, I would definitely rather buy two patties for two pounds than one of these for one pound fifty nine, but I don't dislike it. It's um, apart from the consistency of the mash, the flavors aren't too bad at all. It's just mild. There's not much I can say about it really. No. It's, it's just. It's just what you expect from freezer food and for the price. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's no, it's not blowing my socks off, but it's not repulsing me either. I'm trying to work out what I'd need to eat alongside it. I think it definitely needs vegetables. Yeah. Like, I definitely want a sweet corn next to it. Yeah. So, and maybe peas. Maybe cauliflower. Yeah. But it's like, um, yeah, it doesn't taste too bad. For one fifty nine, I think it's a bargain. I've eaten it all. Um, you could, could have done with a little bit more cheese. Could have done with a little bit more fish. But then it wouldn't have been £1.59, would it? You know? This company has to have to make their profit as well. Yeah, it's definitely sort of three quarters mashed potato. Yeah, I was expecting it to just taste like uh, fishy potato, but I, I, there were definitely some chunks of fish in there. So. so yeah, that's it. I mean, nice and simple. There's not much else I can say about it. It's like um, I'm reviewing like kind of the bargain basement foods. To see what's edible, what's not edible. Would I buy it again? Probably not. No, I don't think I would. Um, but it wasn't. It it wasn't that bad. It's like it's worth a try. If you see it for cheaper than one pound fifty nine, grab it. It's if you've got a big freezer, it's something to have in the freezer as a snack. You know, if you you know with a pit, some tin peas and something like that, it would it would um fill you up. Because it's all about getting the most of your money these days, you know, because everything's going up in price. So we're, we're checking out uh, different priced uh, foods and reviewing them, you know, to see what's what. Just trying to think of uh, one of the videos we've I've done recently for something cheap. I mean, that does not beat the patties. And that does not beat the one pound chicken pie that I had from Bird's Eye. That was that was really impressive. So you can buy really good food for a pound. I would say this should be in the same bra bracket. It should be a pound, not yeah. one pound fifty nine. Yeah. So because it, it kind of it, you know, it's not it's it's not brilliant, but it's not terrible. It's uh, it's just a kind of um. It's a stomach filler. Yeah. It's uh. It's it, yeah. It's uh. It it needs a lot more doing to it than just. Mash, cheese and fish is, uh, you know, but, but yeah, there you go. That's uh, our honest opinion of Young's Admiral Pie. And uh, yeah, we hope you've gained some important information from this video, like don't buy it or <laughs> do buy it if you really like Admiral's Pie. So as, as usual, drop some, drop some comments in the comments section. Tell me whether you've had it. I'd be interested to know what you what, whether you had it. This was literally just in my corner shop, so I went went to my corner shop and thought, right, let's get some bits and pieces for the for the channel. Um, it's not something I would normally buy. I think I'd rather make my own fish pie to be honest. But then that would have that would have king prawns and calamari and cod and probably smoked haddock in it, which wouldn't be one pound fifty nine, would it? it? Like you know, you're talking about a if for a proper fish pie, you, you're looking at ten pounds. So it's one of them. You get what you pay for. So, and uh, I'm not going to slay you too much because it was it was really cheap. And um, yeah, that's it. So, if you uh, like this sort of content, give us a like, a subscription, and uh, click the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video very shortly. Have a good time. Bye.